In this lesson, we're going to look at how to solve polynomial equations by factoring. And so polynomial equations is just the name for all the equations that have an exponent greater than 2. In other words, they have a higher power than quadratic. And for equations with the, where the largest exponent is greater than 2, there's not a formula. So we don't have a you know, kind of a catch-all or, or one-size-fits-all way to find our solution. For, and for right now, we're going to try to factor these. Is That's the only way we're going to have to solve them. And factoring is going to mean we're going to have to get 0 on one side of the equal mark. So let's look at this example. 4x to the 4th equals 12x squared. Since I see that the highest power is bigger than 2, it tells me I'm going to have to factor. And knowing that I have to factor, I know that all the terms need to be on one side of the equal mark. Now, if I look for a GCF, I have a 4 and 12. Let's say I'll get a 4 and an x squared. And then inside the parentheses, we'll get x squared minus 3. Okay, now... If this times this is 0, one of my factors must be 0. If 4x squared is 0, then x squared is 0, meaning x itself would have to be 0. And if x squared minus 3 is 0, well, that just looks like one of our little uh, quadratic equations that we could use the square root property on because, see, there's no x term. So then x squared would be 3, and x would be plus or minus square root of 3. So I have now three different solutions. I have uh, 0, and positive square root of 3, and negative square root of 3 as my solutions. And um, I would like to point out to you that your greatest number of solutions possible is going to be equal to the highest exponent. So even though we had a 4 here, we didn't quite find 4 different solutions, but we found 3. But at least when you look at this equation, you know that you're looking for 4 solutions or less. Um, in other words, you can't get 5 solutions for this equation because its highest exponent is only 4. And let's try another one. 5x to the 4th equals 80x squared. Okay, so once again, the highest exponent is 4, so that tells me I must solve by factoring. And knowing that I have to solve by factoring, I know that I have to get all the terms on one side of the equal mark. Now my GCF would be 5x squared, and that will leave me x squared minus 16 in the parentheses. Now this is a difference of squares. So it can be factored as x minus 4 times x plus 4. And now I have three factors, and each factor will give a solution. 5x squared equals 0 gives me a solution of 0. x minus 4 equals 0 gives me a solution of x equals 4. And x plus 4 equals 0 gives me a solution of x equals negative 4. So our three solutions in this case are 0, 4, and negative 4. Now let's look at x to the third plus x squared equals 4x plus 4. Okay, so the highest power is bigger than 2, and that tells me that my only method to solve is by factoring. So I'll get all the terms on one side of the equal mark. Now... Uh, there are four terms here, so my only method of factoring is to factor by grouping. So let's get a GCF from the first two terms, which would be x squared, and that leaves us with x squared times x plus 1. And let's get a GCF from the last two terms, and that GCF will be negative 4. So negative 4 times x gives us negative 4x. And negative 4 times positive 1 gives us negative 4. Remember, whenever you have a minus here in front of your second group, you have to change this sign. All right, now that's going to leave us with a x plus 1 
times x squared minus 4. And this factor is a difference of squares, and that will factor into x minus 2 times x plus 2. And now each factor will give us a solution. If x plus 1 equals 0, we get x equals negative 1 as a solution. If x minus 2 equals 0, we get x equals 2 as a solution. And if x plus 2 equals 0, we get x equals negative 2 as a solution. And our three solutions then are negative 1, positive 2, and negative 2. Let's do one more together. 2x to the third plus 3x squared equals 8x plus 12. So this exponent tells me that I'll have to solve by factoring. And since I have to solve by factoring, I have to get all my terms on one side of the equal mark. And now, since I have four terms, I have to factor by grouping. So the first GCF is x to the second, and that leaves 2x plus 3 in the parentheses. And the second GCF is 4, but it needs to be a negative 4. So that's also going to leave me 2x plus 3 in the parentheses. Now remember, these two parentheses always have to be the same. So if you've already figured out the first one, you know the second one. And really you just need to make sure that negative 4 times 2x makes negative 8x. And negative 4 times positive 3 makes negative 12. So we're good. Now factor out the 2x plus 3. And that leaves x squared minus 4 in the other set of parentheses. Now factor the difference of squares. And now set each factor equal to 0. If 2x plus 3 equals 0, then 2x equals negative 3, and x equals negative 3 over 2. If x minus 2 equals 0, then x equals 2. And if x plus 2 equals 0, then x equals negative 2. So our three solutions are negative 3 over 2, and positive 2, and negative 2.